Fulton County Library System. This is Kitchen Chemistry. It's National Pirate Month, so we're gonna make pirate salsa. It's really a blend of pineapple and mango salsa with some other stuff thrown in, but around our house it has the nickname of pirate salsa, and that's what we're going with today. So what you need to make pirate salsa is fresh pineapple that's been minced into small bits, same for some mango that we've minced into small bits. Some Roma tomato that we've diced. Some red onion that we've diced. Some limes that we're gonna juice fresh for the dish itself. Fresh garlic that we've already minced into very fine little bits. We have a blend of jalapenos and serranos. Now it's up to you how hot you like your salsa whether or not you want to use both kinds. If you prefer one flavor or the other, just go with what you like. And finally, we have some cilantro that we plucked fresh from our garden, and we're gonna dice that into very fine bits at the last minute. You always wanna wait and chop herbs as close to surface as you can, because they'll start to darken and get a little less appealing. So I'll chop those at the very last minute. We also are gonna add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Of course, we have our trusty pepper grinder and sea salt, the nice big grain stuff that's so good, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Again, your heat levels are totally up to you. The amounts for this are kind of rustic, shall we say. Um, I probably have about a cup and a half of pineapple, probably two cups of mango, then around a half cup of tomatoes and probably far more onion than I'm gonna need. I'll probably use about a half cup of that. The garlic, the peppers, the cilantro, it's all dealer's choice, however you like your flavors. So I'm just gonna show you how I make it and you can experiment at home. Now we're ready to start combining our pirate salsa. We'll start by putting in our mango. Pineapple, tomato, onion. We're gonna put in about half of this onion right now. And if we decide we need more, we can always add it then. We have our pepper blend. We're gonna put in about half of that right now. We'll see how much, how hot that makes it. You never know, some jalapenos are hot, some serranos are, sometimes they're not. And we'll put in about half of that garlic there too. Well, two thirds. You can always add more, right? Now we're going to blend in some fresh lime juice. We cut our limes in half. We have this little juicer tool, very fast and efficient. Don't need anything special. You can use it for cocktails or uh, dishes like this, whatever you need. We're going to put in a one full lime juice to start. With our cilantro, we're going to put in everything we minced, which is probably about three tablespoons, I would say. I like cilantro. You may not. I know it's, it's not everyone's uh, favorite thing. We have about a third cup, third of a cup of um, our apple cider vinegar. I'm just gonna kind of distribute that evenly over the top. To give a little bit of bite there. We're gonna add in some fresh ground pepper. A nice pinch of sea salt. And finally, we're gonna put in a little bit of cayenne. We already have the peppers in there, but cayenne's a different flavor. So I'm gonna say that we're gonna do about an eighth of a, tab a tablespoon of that. We can always add more. And now just blend it. Doesn't this look delicious? Look how pretty those colors are together. You notice there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom here. Sometimes I'll make it like a day in advance and let it chill in the refrigerator and let all those flavors really combine. And then right before I serve it, I'll drain that off just to make it that much prettier. Let's try it with the chip. 
Now we're ready for our pirate party. We got our chips and our salsa. This is Fulton County. This is Kitchen Chemistry. Thank you for joining us and enjoy your pirate month.